this apart from resonance to alpha H. Again, we will compare simply alpha H to alpha H. Point 14, which is more stable? First is more stable than second because it is resonance stabilized. Now, which is the most stable? A is most stable. What about third? This alkene has one alpha. And 11th, D is more stable. Why D is more stable? Because it is resonance stabilized. Hi, hello to everyone. In today's lecture, we will basically do practice. Okay, what you have to do? You have to compare relative stability. First, you have to apply resonance. Then you have to apply hyperconjugation and inductive effect. While applying RHI, resonance, hyperconjugation, inductive effect, one thing you must be in your mind that you have to remember a special point to remember, a special point, PTR, SPTR. So apart from SPTR and RHI, these two things will be used in today's lecture. So let's start, compare relative stability. You have to compare relative stability of the givens. So first of all, pause the video and try this for example, then I will explain. Now what is the answer for first? There is no resonance in between A, B, C, D, then how will compare? If there is no resonance, we will go for hyperconjugation. More alpha H, more stability. In this example, there is a 12 alpha H, alpha, alpha, methyl, 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 12. In this example, this methyl, this methyl, this methyl, 9 alpha, A is more stable than B. And in this example, 6 alpha, B is more stable than C. And this alkene has 3 alpha, C is more than D, and E has 0 alpha. Now what about second? This alkene has 10 alpha H, this alkene has 6 alpha H, and this alkene has 3 alpha H. A more stable than B, more stable than C. What about third? This alkene has 1 alpha, this alkene has 9 alpha, and this alkene has 5 alpha. This means B is more stable than C is more stable than A. And what about fourth? This benzene has alpha, 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 alpha. Apart from resonance, 10 alpha H. In this, apart from resonance, 2 alpha H. In this, apart from resonance, which resonance? Resonance of benzene, two equivalent RS. All these have benzene resonance. We have 4 alpha H. Then what is the stability order? A is more stable than C is more stable than B. Now let's try these example, example 5, 6 and 7, pause the video and try these example then we will discuss. Now we have to compare relative stability. In all these A, B, C, absence of resonance, in absence of resonance we will check hyperconjugation. What we have to follow? RHI plus point to remembers. Now in this case it is as 8 alpha H. The first one has 8 alpha H, second one has 4 alpha H and third one has 5 alpha H. Then what is the stability order? A greater than C greater than B. This is 8 alpha, 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 8 alpha H. In this case 4 alpha, in this case alpha, alpha and alpha, 5 alpha. This means stability order will be A greater than C greater than B. Now what about sixth? This is also stabilized by hyperconjugation, 10 alpha H, 4 alpha and 5 alpha. And what is the stability order? A greater than C greater than B. In seventh, this has 7 alpha, 2, 2 and 3. This has 4 alpha and this alkene has 7 alpha. Basically A and C are same. This means A equal to C greater than B. This is the relative stability of given alkenes. Now try this. Again, we will compare simply alpha H, 2 alpha H, 4 alpha H, and 5 alpha H. Carbon directly attached with alkene is alpha, therefore they 5 alpha, 4 alpha, and 2 alpha. So what is the stability order? B, C, A. 
and in all this ninth ABC are resonance stabilized apart from resonance 2 alpha, apart from resonance alpha and alpha 5 alpha, apart from resonance 9 alpha H. Then what is the stability order? C is greater than B is greater than A because A has 2 alpha H. Now what about 10th? In this carbocation is none of the cation is resonance stabilized then we will go for hyperconjugation. Since absence of resonance then hyperconjugation 7 alpha, 3 alpha and 1 alpha. This means A more stable than B more stable than C. Try this. Now in 11th, D is most stable. Why D is most stable? Because it is resonance stabilized. So D is most stable because of resonance. Now in A, in all these, we will count alpha hydrogen. A, B, C are not resonance stabilized. We will count alpha H, 7 alpha H, 5 alpha H, and this cation has 1 alpha. This means D, A, B, C. Got it? In this case, both are resonance stabilized. This carbocation, carbon next to benzene is benzyl carbocation, it is resonance stabilized and carbon next to alkene is allyl carbocation. These two are famous common name, you have to remember this name, allyl means carbon next to alkene, benzyl means carbon next to benzene. Both are resonance stabilized. Now since both are resonance, but first has more stable than second. Why? Because of more number of RS, more number of RS. Now in 13th, this is resonance stabilized, 2 RS and this cation has 7 alpha, no resonance, this has 3 alpha and in this resonance stabilized, 3 RS. Then what is the stability order? D, A, B and C. This is the relative order of stability. Got it? Now try this. Now in 14, which is more stable? First is more stable than second because it is resonance stabilized. In first, there is a resonance of cation. In second, there is no resonance of cation. Now in 15, this is more stable because of conjugated dyne. It is resonance stabilized. It is isolated dyne, no resonance. In 16, which is the most stable? First of all, conjugated resonance. Cumulative is unstable because of pi pi bond repulsion. This means stability order will be A greater than B greater than C. Why is more stable? Because of conjugated dyne. C is unstable because of pi pi bond repulsion. Now in 17, which is conjugated dyne? This is conjugated dyne. Conjugated means resonance stabilized dyne. This is also conjugated dyne means resonance stabilized. Apart from conjugation, how many alpha H? 7 alpha H. Apart from conjugation, how many alpha is? 3 alpha is. First is more stable than second. And if there is a conjugated dyne, first of all you should check conjugated dyne and co apart from conjugation you should go for alpha H. Means hyperconjugation. Try this. Now in 18, both are isolated dyne. Then we will count alpha of individual alpha. This alkene has 4 alpha, 7 alpha, 3 alpha and 3 alpha. First is more stable than second. Both are isolated, no resonance. In 19, there is a special point to remember. Sp2 in 3 member ring is unstable except aromatic. 2 sp2 carbon, in this alkene 2 sp2 carbon, sp2 in 3 member ring is unstable, 1 sp2 carbon. More the sp2 carbon, more unstable 3 member ring more sp2 carbon means less sp2 is more stable. So which one is more stable? The C is more stable. Now both have same number of sp2. Apart from sp2, 1 alpha. Apart from sp2, this alkene has 5 alpha. Then which is more stable? 5 alpha or 1 alpha? 5 is more stable. B is more stable than A. Got it? In 20th, B is more stable because of plus I effect. More plus I, more stable. Now try this. 
we already explained in special point to remember in hyperconjugation which is dominate first in hyperconjugation ch dominate cd because of weaker bond of ch on 20 second which is most stable methyl on same side is cis to butene opposite side is trans to butene which is most stable trans why trans is most stable because of less steric hindrance more steric hindrance in 23rd first is most stable it is a point to remember isobutene is the most stable isomer of butene so which butene is the most stable isomer of butene isobutene because of stable hyperconjugating structures now try this in 24th a is most unstable because it is a bred soul i already explained you three carbocation just like a three idiots vinyl aryl and brizard are highly unstable means a is highly unstable now we have to compare b and c in case of b this is 2 degree cation apart from 2 degree cation there are alpha h while this is a 1 degree cation apart from 1 degree there are less number of alpha h this means b is more stable than c because of more number of alpha h means more hyperconjugating structure and we already know that a is highly unstable because of german scholar brets according to brets rule brizard carbon cannot be sp2 got it 925 which is more stable this is aryl aryl is highly unstable that's why b is more stable than a a is benzyl resonance stabilized there is a resonance in a b sorry resonance in b Now compare this pause the video and try your answer now which is the most stable a is most stable now in b c d which is most stable c is more than d why c is more than because 3 degree is more than 1 degree and b will be the last because it is aryl a is the first because it is resonance stabilized now on 27 this is our allyl cation resonance stabilized so a and this is vinyl vinyl will be last allyl is resonance stabilized vinyl is highly unstable order will be a b c now in 28th first of all we will check resonance so among three which is resonance stabilized all three are resonance stabilized now apart from resonance the second concept is not hyperconjugation if they are resonance stabilized then we will compare stability of resonating structure number of rs now in this case all have same number of rs rs a b c all are resonance stabilized A has five RS, five RS, five RS. Number of RS is same. Then what is the difference? The difference lies in stability of carbocation. If this carbocation undergo resonance, positive charge will be formed in ortho. Then it is on para. Then it is on ortho. Got it? Now what is the degree of the cation form? Three degree, two, two, and three. If this carbocation undergo resonance, then two degree, two degree, and three degree cation will form. Now, if the carbocation undergo resonance, two degree, two degree, and two degree will form. All will be two degree. Now, which is most stable, three degree or two degree? They all are three degree. This has three. Uh, sorry, two degree, and this has three degree. And we know that three degree carbocation is more stable than two degree carbocation. This means C is the least stable because it consists of two degree cation. Now, in order to compare A and B. Now, in order to compare A and B, what we have to do? In case of A, both have three degree cation, but the inductive effect of this methyl is nearer to the cation. It is at ortho position nearer to the cation. It is at para position away from the cation. As we know that inductive effect operate on the basis of distance. This is the nearer to the cation, and plus I is directly proportional to stability of cation. Therefore, A is more stable than B. on the basis of plus i of methyl and ab is more stable than c because of 3 degree cation b has c has 2 degree cation so what you have to do you have to check resonance in resonance you have to check number of rs and you also you have to check stability of rs got it 
So whenever you have to check resonance, if they both are resonance stabilized, then go for number of RS, then check stability of RS. The more the stable RS, more will be the stability. Got it? So just tell me in the comment box, where are you from studying? Uh, from which uh, state and which town you are watching this lecture? And out of 28, how many questions are correct? If you are new to the, my YouTube channel, then please go to the previous lectures. You have to follow the GOC in sequence for the better understanding of the topic. Thank you. Jai Hind.